Joining us for our weekly check-in is Jenny Boom Boom back Hi. in Studio 61 this morning. We're glad to have you back. Glad to be here, Symphony. I love it. Well, let's go ahead and get the ball rolling on some hot talkers this morning. So yeah. first up, R. Kelly. He's been in the headlines lately uh, mm -hmm. for his trials going on. Uh, this latest one involves some videotapes um, involving some underage children and uh, as young as 14 years old. Right. Yeah, so his trial in Chicago has officially started after he was just, you know, convicted of federal sex crimes in New York. He's He's serving 30 years already, but now he's in Chicago on child pornography charges. Uh, four victims are going to come forward and testify against him, including the alleged victim from 2008, his trial in which he was acquitted. She is now going to take the stand and speak out. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. That's some heavy stuff there. And I know some people struggle out there, you know, if R. Kelly comes on the radio and they're like, ooh, do I want to bounce to Ignition or am I well, going to turn it off? Honestly, a lot of radio stations across the country are not playing R. Kelly. Um, because of all of this. They just don't feel comfortable playing and endorsing him as an artist anymore. Yeah. So a lot of radio stations are not playing him. And a lot of DJs, too, will not play R. Kelly mm -hmm. unless it's specifically requested, like at a wedding or something. Gotcha. Yes, gotcha. yes, yes. So I'm sure there will be a lot of eyes on this story and keeping up with those developments. Uh, those people will have to watch some of those videos. Yeah, so there are yeah. four videotapes of him allegedly having sex with minors, and three of the tapes are going to be presented to the jury. Yes. Oh, some heavy stuff there. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to uh, another story. Now, this one involving uh, the Spider-Man, the latest Spider-Man, Tom Holland. Yes. Now, he's saying that he's going to take a break from promoting uh, some of his projects due to his mental health. And he talked about how, you know, some of those comments on Instagram and um, just other platforms are really overwhelming for him at times. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to feel like we're seeing more celebrities come out and talk about, you know, their mental health struggles and yes. wanting to take a break from social media. Yeah, so he actually took six weeks off of Instagram. Instagram already. He came on yesterday to kind of explain why he's off of Instagram because he said he spirals after seeing things about him on Instagram. It really, really affects him uh, mentally. And he also brought attention to a couple of t different charities that he does work with mm -hmm. that deal with me mental health issues. And he invited his fans to, you know, reach out to those charities. Uh, but he said for now he is off of social media. Right. right. Yeah. But it's important to take that step back. Right. Know, I mean, it can do. be hard, though, as yeah. an entertainer. I right. mean, you know yourself, like, you're expected to be on social media yeah. to kind of show the world your life. Uh -huh. uh, so, of course, everyone has that pressure. But, you know, Tom Holland said, I'm just going to take this step back for just a little while. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, Jenny, we got the wrap, so we got to head out. But thank you so much for joining us this morning. And as always, you guys will see her probably next week. And if not, you can catch her on the radio in the meantime. Yeah, and Hot 937. All right. <laughs> thank you for joining us. Thank you. Okay, let's check back in with our friend.